Hey guys, so there's a lot of debate out there on what kind of connector to use for your micro quad. And for me, I'm uh, pretty much standardized on these JST connectors here with a 20 gauge wire. I have that on the chopstick and also on my Chaser 88 rebuild. And uh, on these wires here, so here's this is the JST connector that I use. On these wires, there typically is printed the gauge of the wire. And you can see right here, this is it says there it's 20 gauge. And I, I typically only get the wires that have the silicone insulation, uh, not the plastic. And something that a lot of people aren't aware of is that there's a lot of people that are switching to these XD30 connectors. And I, I think that they're probably doing it unnecessarily because uh, the XD30 connectors are really needed. Now for me, I should explain that I'm only running these on 2S. So for the JST, 20 gauge is probably just fine. And the reason I say that is uh, even after flying really hard, uh, the wire and the connector don't get warm at all. And that's the thing that's going to determine whether or not you need to upgrade your connector. If it gets really warm or hot, then that means that there's more current flowing through the wire and the connector than uh, the wire can send through, and that's why it gets hot because of resistance. And for me, it, that doesn't happen. It doesn't get it doesn't get warm at all. So that means that I don't need to upgrade my connector. Now, if you're running these micros on 3S or 4S, then yeah, you're probably going to need to upgrade to an XD30. The other thing that you need to consider is the not only the, the gauge of the wire is on the connector. You need to consider how long the wire is. So I try and I try and not make it really long like this. I try and make it a little bit shorter and only use what I need to uh, have a little bit of slack here to make the, make a proper connection. The other thing that you also have to consider is the, the length of the wire on the battery and also the gauge of the wire on the battery. So here is an example of a uh, 300 milliamp hour 2S uh, from Giant Power. It has a really long wire which is unnecessary and can see here it's 22 gauge wire which means it's thinner so the bigger numbers mean it's thinner than the wire I'm using to connect to the quad so your limiting factor is going to be this wire here on the battery actually most of the batteries that I use are going to be these these are the Nanotech 300 45-90C it's got a shorter connector a shorter battery lead and these are 20 gauge wires which match the JST connector that's going on the quad so, for example, on the uh, Chaser 88, I took this connector off of this uh, and switched it to a JST because I knew I, I didn't, I wasn't going to need it. I was going to, I was going to make the quad lighter. It wasn't, it wasn't going to draw as much power, and I was going to switch to a shorter JST connector. This, this is, this is a really interesting XD30. This is, uh, I think it's a 18 gauge wire here. So you can see here it says 18 gauge, but the battery it came with was this one. And this is it came with a 16 gauge wire on on this one, so obviously the, the limiting factor is going to be this connector here and not on the battery because more current will be able to flow through this battery lead than through this lead here that goes to the quad. So that you need to have uh, connectors that match and also wires that match. Otherwise, whichever is uh, skinnier is going to limit the amount of current or power that can flow through this connection here. So taking all those things into consideration, uh, I was going to upgrade the connector on my King Kong 90 GT, and it comes with this unusual 2S balance lead connector, and using some really thin gauge wire here. This is this is 26 gauge wire, which is really thin. And you would think, oh, you could just cut off this connector and then solder on a JST connector, but this is, you know, it would be better to just desolder the whole connector all the way to the PDB and re reuse or put on a, a new a, a JST connector here with a thicker gauge wire than to just swap out this. It wouldn't make much sense because especially I want to match the battery that I'll be using here. So if I have a 20 gauge wire here and a 26 gauge wire over there on the quad, that's going to be the limiting factor on how much power I can pump through the connector itself. So if you guys are Thinking about upgrading your connectors to XT30, you know, you should just fly your stuff around with whatever batteries you got. If you happen to have a lot of batteries with JST connectors, um, 
you know, see if the the wires and the connectors are hot after you fly. If they're hot, then yeah, you're probably going to need to do an upgrade. But if they're not, then doing you know doing an upgrade would be un pretty much unnecessary, especially if you're just going to be taking something like this kind of battery with a 20 gauge wire and then just swap putting on an XD30 here. It just seems like a, a waste because the the wire itself is going to be your limiting factor. Anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful in terms of helping you guys figure out whether or not you want to change your connectors or batteries. Um, these are the things that I, I kind of take into consideration in terms of what I want to do and what kind of connectors I want on my quads and the reasons why. Um, you know, if if you don't need to, then you know why why bother? And uh, if you're gonna if you are if you do need to, then you should do it correctly and you know actually get a uh, decent gauge wire for these XT30s. I wouldn't I wouldn't bother going with a, what is this an 18, 18? I would go with a 16 and on both the connector side to the quad and on the battery side. So you would have to then also swap all your batteries out to have the proper gauge wire on the battery itself instead of just changing the connector. You have to change the, make sure the wire and the connector are matching. Anyway guys, hope that video is helpful for you and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.